I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session. Razaban if I have TV proudly sponsored by Everlast. It's finally fight week. We're here in London at the O2 Arena with me, Caroline Dubois. Caroline, last time I spoke to you, we were on Bournemouth Beach and you were lying down on the bench that forced you to get up. Yeah, I mean, it was a definitely a different atmosphere, a different vibe, but you know, it's the same, it's, it's the same, but it's different. So I'm excited to be here, you know, it was, it was more chilled out back there, but now I feel the intensity in the, in the room. So yeah. How's the, the delay been? I know obviously four weeks ago, everyone was upset. Everyone was saddened by obviously what happened, obviously outside of boxing, but how's the four weeks been in terms of preparation? How have you had to kind of maneuver and change things to make sure you're in peak condition come Saturday night? Um, it was very frustrating while it, when it happened. It was frustrating that I had, it had to get called off because we did put in a lot of work and a lot of time and effort. But I just feel like now I'm more focused and zoned in on the actual fight. And I feel like I'm not so much blown away by the atmosphere and the and the like the fighting at the O2, seeing all these fighters. It's like seeing like real life, you know, people that I've been I've been looking up to for so long. So so I'm now it's just more more natural to me. Did you go straight back into the gym? Uh, obviously, fight was cancelled, postponed. We weren't 100% it was going to take place on October 15th, but did you kind of just take a day off or did you go straight back in the gym and resume camp? No, I definitely I took a few days off. Um, I'd done a whole camp, you know, I'd made weight, I'd trained, I'd sparred, so I'd, I'd peaked and everything. And uh, I definitely had to take a little rest and a little time off and just recover from that hard training camp that I did then and then maintain it to get ready for now. Would you say you're in a better peak condition now or four weeks ago? I don't know, it's hard to say. I'd say I'm more mentally prepared. More mentally prepared? For sure, yeah. One of the talking points that came out from that particular week was everyone felt sorry for, obviously, you, yourselves as fighters about, you know, you, you only get paid when you fight and you go for grueling training camps. Should something be set up? Should the board look at something? I know there's a lot of pressure at the moment on the board, but is this something that the board or the promoter needs to look at in terms of having something set up? So in the circumstances like we saw last week and four weeks ago, completely different, but there should be something set up in the background. I mean, I get that. I truly do. As a boxer myself, you know, it's frustrating to do a whole camp. You're training, you're sparring, you're working, and, and um, you make a weight. And, uh, and then for it to get called off and you get no compensation for anything, for any of the work you've done, that's frustrating. But at the same time, there's there's a rule that it's when you step on the scales, that's when you get paid. And no one stepped on the scales, so no, no one got paid. Um, I feel like uh, I can understand for the board side and like Ben's side, Sky's side, they, they lost a lot of money putting that together, the hotels, traveling and everything like that. And um, it's just frustrating, but we it's just a little hurdle that you have to get over. Saturday night, the goal the same? Exactly, same, you know, same goal, same vision, same destination that I want to get to at the end of my career. And this is just, you know, a little obstacle, a little hurdle. And it's a great learning experience. I'm fighting on a mad card. It's going to be a crazy atmosphere. And getting used to being in, involved in an atmosphere like that and fighting maybe not such a good opponent, it will get me ready for when I'm fighting an opponent that's, you know, going to come and bring it. I was going to say, it's, it's a crazy card, one of the, well, it's the first ever all-women's card, and I know it's topped by someone you know very well and someone you've supported for a long time in Clarissa Shields, but is that where you want to be as well, one day in the no, to, well, no distance future? 100%, 100%. It's amazing being able to see all these girls here, Alicia, Michaela, uh, Savannah, uh, Clarissa Shields, because these are all the girls that I've been watching when I was growing up, watching in the fights, watching how they're performing, and now I'm here fighting alongside them. It's kind of mad when you think about about it. I was watching Savannah Marsh and Clarissa Shields at 2012 Olympics when I was 11 years old and now I'm fighting on the same card as them. That's kind of crazy. And uh, these are the people, these are my inspirations and they're just some place where I want to be. Main event, Clarissa Shields and Savannah Marsh, was a lot of back and forth. Clarissa went back to the States and then obviously has to adjust back to the American time, has now come back, I believe she arrived on Saturday. So now we're just back to the kind of the UK time zone. Do you think Savannah will have a little bit of advantage on conditioning maybe? 
Um, I don't know. It's a, it depends. It's a personal thing, you know. How do people recover? Everyone recovers differently when they're flying. Some people it takes them a while to get over the jet lag, get over the the feeling in the legs, the, that weak feeling, and get over everything. So it depends on the person. I think uh, Kirsty Shields is a very mentally strong person, and all the Americans have come over. I'm sure they've had a team that's, you know, getting the science behind it, how many days they should be out and how the hours. So I'm sure they've got people making sure that they're coming over and they've got good time to adjust. Who wins and how? I've been asked this question like 50 million times now, and I don't know. It's, it's one of them ones. It's, it's definitely a 50-50 fight. I'll be ignorant to say it isn't. They're both at the top of the game and the, uh, the best, they're both the best at their weight division. I don't see anyone that can be on par with them right now. Um, but I don't know, I sense something different with Kalesha Shields this time around. She's got a different energy, like a meanness about her. And I see her the way she is, she's snapping at people. I feel like she's fight ready, man. She's definitely fight ready. I think there's a seriousness that's come that she just seems more mentally ready. And I feel like... I don't know, it's, it's a person that can hold it together when the when the lights come off and they're both in the ring and the crowd is screaming, who can hold it? I don't see Kalesha Shields breaking. Are we going to hear the final bell? Is it going to go 12 rounds or do you feel like it's going to stop early? 10 rounds, I think it'll go 10. 10, my bad, 10 years. <laughs> 10 We'd love to see 12. I'd say, but I don't, I, I don't see it getting stopped now. Caroline, we wish you all the best on Saturday night. Obviously, press conference tomorrow, weigh in on Friday. Uh, we're not on a boat, we're inside. It is a bit cold, so yeah, let's leave the boats for the summer. Uh, yeah, roll on Saturday night. Yeah, I can't wait. You know, I can't wait. I'm excited and I'm, I'm appreciative for everybody who's supporting me. And, and is, I've got a lot of nice messages, people saying they, they're watching me and they're, they're supporting me, so I'm very grateful for that. Caroline Dubois, IFL TV, thank you very much. I'm gonna share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session.